uh, it's a little tiny small mouth. They share the waters of the Black River with the trout, so uh, you do catch your share of these. Thanks for joining us for White Dog Outdoors. Today we're in upstate New York, just outside the Adirondack Park on the uh, western edge of the park. Uh, we're fishing the Black River. Uh, the Black River runs from the foothills of the Adirondacks down into Lake Ontario. Uh, it actually has a steelhead and a salmon run in the lower portions, but up here it's mostly really heavily stocked with trout. There is a mix of smallmouth in here as well. Um, I fished a lot of different sections of the black. It's a, it's a very different water. It goes from really slow, you know, almost not moving sections because there's a lot of dams to some pretty decent riffles. And today I'm hitting a new area that I really wanted to focus on with a lot of pocket water. I'm not used to fishing pocket water on the Black River, but I, I almost didn't even find this spot. It's so hard to find. I actually had to get help from somebody to help me find it. Just in terms of safety, I started wading out here and this pocket water is crazy. You go from two inches deep to four feet deep in one step. Um, you'll really quickly get yourself into some, some trouble. So whenever you're doing pocket water, get out your wading staff. I've been using my wading staff. I tried it without this morning and I quickly discovered that that was a bad idea. I went back, got the wading staff. I've been with the wading staff the rest of the day. Um, having that third anchor point really helps stabilize you in, in the water. Um, for the setup today, you know, it's pocket water. I'm not really expecting any kind of dry fly action. It's going to be mostly nymphing. Um, I'm going with my Euro nymphing setup. This is a Sage ESN, uh, a 10 and a half foot three weight, um, matched up with my uh, Sage 3250 reel. Um, the flies I'm using on the point fly, I'm using a, a big sexy stone. Uh, what I found early is that the hot spot on the sexy stone really is making a difference. So um, I started off with natural colors. I haven't gotten any bites on that. I switched to a hot spot and then my secondary nymph is a little Frenchy, uh, also with a pretty decent hot spot on it. And um, since I switched up to those, I think with the heavy water, you know, they've, they've needed a little more to see those, those, uh, those flies. So uh, I did start getting bites. So far I've had two bites from trout that I did not land um, and a small mouth which a little tiny small mouth not exactly what I was looking for I really came to this pocket water section to see if I could find larger fish um, on the Black River that's really heavily stocked there's a lot of you know 10 to 12 12 inch fish I think the biggest fish I typically pull out of here is 14 inches so I really wanted to look for some areas that didn't get traffic and and you know, find just some bigger holdover fish that um, that would hang out in these pocket water areas. So we'll see what we can do today. We're gonna get fishing. Keep your fingers crossed for us. Well, guys, I just connected with this nice brown. He took the uh, he took the sexy stone with with yellow legs. It's a nice brown. I don't even. He's maybe 12 inches or so, but. This is the guy that he took right here. Again, they need something with a little bit of color to, to be able to see him, but. So here he is. Nice little pocket water brown. There he goes. I caught him in this heavy stuff right here. Okay, we got another little guy. Finally connected with another brown. I've actually missed several. But uh, this guy ate pretty good. Real deep, right behind that big boulder. So I forgot to tell you guys that uh, I forgot my GoPro mount today. So uh, I'm gonna have to do my best like this without any actual GoPro action. But let's, uh, let's get this guy released here. Not a big guy, but a pretty one. See you, buddy. Big boulders.
Oh, we got another brownie. Not a big one again. Feisty little guys, though. Man. Yeah, alright. We'll see you later, buddy. That was beautiful. They're hitting pretty hard. I was right behind this rock. Beautiful water. You know, I lost my pocket water. We got a deep run here. But heck, the fish are biting in it, so it's cool. Look how beautiful that is, though. Gotta love the Adirondacks. <laughs> I just had a double, actually, but um, the one fly broke off when a fish splashed, and uh, I just got this little guy. Just another little brown. This one ate the black stone fly. I got hits two hits two casts in a row, and the second one was a double, and then the other one splashed off right at the top. Took my fly with him. All right, we're back in the faster water here, so. Maybe we'll get some more fish here. Adios, buddy. There he goes. I got two in a row right out here. Missed the first one. Second one was a double. Well, I'm going to call it a day here on the black. Um, had a rough go of it to start. I had trouble finding the spot. I left the GoPro mount at home, so I didn't get a lot of the normal footage that I get. I caught, I think I landed six brown trout. Um, I connected with a lot more. I probably, I probably only landed about a third of the fish I, I connected with. Um, but I was using bigger flies, right fly, and um, I just, I missed the hook set on a lot of them or they came off near me. So I think that big hook for the small fish was just a little too much. But, uh, I'm going to call it a day here. I'm going to check out one more spot on the West Canada on the way home. And uh, hopefully we'll do a little better there. But uh, thanks for following us, guys. You know, if you like what we're doing, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're ever interested in a guided trip, check us out at whitedogoutdoors.com. Thanks. We'll see you guys soon.